Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another day, another ColourPop review. So you guys wanna see what my thoughts are on the big poppy eyeshadow palette, what type of look I create, well then definitely keep on watching. Guys, you'll be shocked to know that for the first time, I didn't buy an entire ColourPop collection. <laughs> what? The only thing I bought from the Big Poppy collection was this eyeshadow palette. And I actually bought it part of a whole big thing that I got on Black Friday. But it did roll out, I think, like a week ago. And it came out with some eyeliners, some lippies, some blushes, some face milk. It came out with a whole galore and I actually passed on the entire launch because I just wanted the palette. So I'm really grateful that I have the palette right here. All right, so the palette right here does retail for $14. You do get nine eyeshadows in here and it's an all matte eyeshadow palette. It's an orange theme, just kind of like their little ray. Uh, Sunshine was a yellow matte palette. It was like a sunflower theme. Like that's what this is like right here. I'm assuming poppies are these little orange flowers. Now it says right here that this is the number one selling all matte palette on ColourPop and it's says it's a field day with this vibrant monochromatic all matte palette this richly saturated palette features shades of vivid rust sunset terracottas and warm nudes now i don't really mess around with a lot of like matte palettes but i really love that little ray of sunshine palette it was such a pretty like sunflower palette i love it so much so i figured why not play around with this today do like a really simple eye look and just have some fun with it so let me swatch these colors for you guys and then we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the look. Okay, so here we have these shades right here. First we have Day Trotter, followed by Mellow, followed by Call Love, followed by Flora, Flora Out, followed by this Get Around, Dig It, Flower Power, Groovin', and Wild Thing. I'm not gonna lie, this palette a little bit intimidates me because it's an all matte palette. And I'm not the biggest fan of all matte palettes. Like I do like having some shimmers into it. But then when I did that yellow one, I freaking fell so much in love with it. Now I'm surprised this is $14. Typically ColourPop's palettes are $12 with nine shadows. And this is 14 with nine shadows. So I wonder if it's just because it's all matte. I'm not entirely sure, but I know they released this. I know they released this palette with like all like their Black Friday Day sales. Like when they released like the On Cloud 9 and like Cloud Spun, they released this as well. So that's when I bought it. And then like a week later, they released the Bee Poppy collection. So I did miss out on that. And, and today is December 21st, day 21 of Vlogmas. And it's the day that Jupiter and Saturn align. So I'm going to go ahead and manifest this that I will be on ColourPop's PR list. Like it is going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm manifesting right now. I'm spilling it out into the universe. It is going to happen. <laughs> so um, this is going to be just a really short review because I just really want to play around this palette. Just sit back and talk shit with you guys. And so yeah, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and we'll get this started. Okay, so I just had an eyelash go in my eye and my eye ate it. Like it went underneath my eyeball and it's just gone. And I don't know how to get it out. What's going to happen? Usually I'm able to pick it right out and this one I wasn't able to and my eye just like <laughs> swallowed it and I was like, oh bitch, come back. <sighs> okay, so I don't really know what type of look I'm going for because it is an all matte shadow. It is an all matte eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of like a sparkle to it. I really do love this Naked Cosmetics like loose shadow. It's really freaking pretty. Um, so we're just going to do something very soft today. And it's just so weird that for the first time I don't have like a full review to do. Normally I buy all of like ColourPop's collections now and now I just, I haven't. So it's gonna be very, very weird to just review an eyeshadow palette. It's been a very long time since I just reviewed like just a plain old ColourPop eyeshadow palette. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, I had a very interesting weekend and I hope that everybody had a good weekend. So this past weekend we went grocery shopping because me and Corey are hosting Thanksgiving, me and Corey are doing Christmas at our house. So we were trying to get groceries and whatnot and I was buying a Christmas card for my best friend. And, uh, I went over to this Christmas card aisle. Wow, did I even tell you what I was doing? What? I didn't even do that. I'm going in the shade call out. <laughs> so we, we went over to this Christmas aisle and um, while I was there, there was an older gentleman just staring at the Christmas cards, kind of like blocking it uh, so that no one else can like come through and he just stand there blocking the one little Christmas section that they had at Publix. And I stood well beyond six feet just because I am that person that like, I'm that person like that does like this, 
like at that line, like that's exactly how I am. Like you should see me whenever we got into Disney or Universal. I'd be like, it's so weird how people don't stand on the line. Like I became a Karen and people, I'd be like, it's so weird people don't stand on the line. Like it's marked for six feet. Cause I just, I can't put, I put, I can't put myself at risk. I can't put Corey at risk. I can't put my family at risk. So I do abide by the rules. And, um, so I stood way back and he's just browsing through Christmas cards and he glanced back at me because I think he knew I was there. And he was like, ma'am, you need to be six feet apart. You're too close to me. And I'm like, uh, okay, I'm, I'm nowhere near you, but okay. And I took like even a further step back. And he goes, oh, I'm just messing with you. Like you're way too far. And I was like, oh, okay, ha ha. Like you're funny. <laughs> And um, he was like, it, he goes, I'm having a really difficult time trying to find a Christmas card for my wife. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay. He goes, are you looking for a Christmas card for like your husband or something? He saw my ring on my finger. And I was like, actually, I'm trying to find a Christmas card for my best friend. And he goes, well, you don't really have much of a choice here. It's kind of limited. I was like, you should probably go to Target. Like Target has a great selection of Christmas cards. He goes, oh, is that where you've gone? I was like, no, not today. But like, I just, I know that they have a great like selection of Christmas cards. And he was like, oh, okay, thank you so much. And he goes, it's just really difficult to like find the perfect gift for my wife. You know, we've been together for oh, 40 something years and I don't really know what to get her anymore. And I was like, oh, why don't you do like a spa day? Like, I feel like that'd be really nice. Like, I think any woman would really appreciate a spa day. And I go, see, I would, but my wife really hates being touched. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, uh, maybe like treat her out for like an all day shopping expense, you know, just trying to like help him out. And uh, he goes, yeah, I would, but she's not really into that stuff either. And then he saw my Loungefly backpack and he goes, are you a really big Mickey fan? Cause that's where my lounge, I always wear, that's my purse. I always have like a Loungefly. I don't, I don't actually carry like a real purse. And I was like, oh, actually I worked for Disney for 10 years and unfortunately I'm on furlough. And he goes, oh, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. I actually uh, have worked at my job for 30 plus years and I've been fired. I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Like. You know, you ever get to like this freaking random, you guys see that? Do you freaking see that? That's my freaking chin hair. The fuck? Look at that. Freaking chin hair, gosh. So anyway, I was like, oh my God, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. If you don't mind me asking, where, did, where were you employed? Were you employed at Disney? He goes, no, I was actually a pilot for Delta Airlines. And I was like, oh my God, that's horrible. I'm really sorry. He goes, yeah, it's really, really unfortunate and that I was fired. I was like, well, do, you, do they offer you like a severance package? He goes, nope, because this past year he was actually supposed to retire because I did not know this, but at the age of 65, you're, you're, you're supposed to, at the age of 65, you're no longer allowed to fly like, I guess commercial airlines is that what it's called or major airlines because you're age of 65 and that's at the retirement age and I guess they feel that you were unfit to fly those airplanes and he goes I really wasn't ready to retire I had a said that I was going to retire early and then I was going to go work for corporate airlines where you can like go fly like private jets and stuff like that for corporates but then COVID hit so unfortunately I lost a job opportunities so I was actually just legit fired and um I wasn't able to get like a severance package or anything I was like oh my god like you could just see in his heart like he was just like this really sucks I was not expecting this and he said how much he loved flying how he misses being in the air and that being a pilot for the last 30 years of his life has been the most incredible journey he's ever experienced and he's telling the story and I'm like y'all I'm on the verge of tears I was like this old man is going to make me cry because I've never seen such passion in somebody when they talk about how much they love their job and how he wasn't able to retire. He was just fired after 30 years and he was just really devastated by that. And I was like, I'm really, really sorry to hear that, sir. I, I truly am. And he goes, well, maybe this will bring me a new journey in life and I could find something else I, d I could do. And I said, maybe, I was like, or maybe you can, maybe when the world gets a little bit better, you can go be a private pilot and just fly for corporations when the time is right. And he said he really liked to do that, so. It really broke my heart. That's something that I just definitely was not expecting. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Flower Power right here. He smiled at me and he said, I really hope that you have a wonderful Christmas with your with your husband. And I was like, I really hope you have a wonderful Christmas with your wife. And he like, he like did me like a little air hug like that, you know? And he started to walk away and I was legit. Like I was like, <laughs> I don't know. 
it just really like it just really touched me in that moment I don't know why his story just really affected me but it just it truly did I just could not stop thinking about that man all day about him being a pilot and being forced retired being being fired because of his age at 65 I was like that I thought it was a discrimination but I guess it's airline rules but that was just so mind-boggling to me I couldn't believe that and it was such like a touching moment like I didn't expect like because Corey was like Corey was over in the produce section he was getting out he was getting some produce for us and he had wondered why it was taking so long when um he finally walked and met me he's like oh who was that and I was like just this old man I met and uh he was like, well, what did he want? And I told him the story. He's like, wow, that's incredible. I was like, I know, right? Like, I didn't, oh my God, my eye is bothering me. It's like, yeah, I know, right? Like, who would have thought? Like, that was just, oh, it's such a moment. <laughs> that guy really made my day. <laughs> Amy has no idea. Okay, now that that is laid down, we are going to go into the shade Get Around right here. And we're going to start to apply that right next to it. I know, it's a typical, typical look for me now. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just playing with these colors. Um, it's because they're so freaking pretty. You guys know how much I love my orange shades with a passion. These are so freaking pretty. I do love ColourPop shadows. I'm not gonna lie, they're just so damn amazing. I have so many of you guys in my DMs telling me that you guys have ordered packages from ColourPop and they're shipping it through DHL and you guys still have yet to receive your package. Actually, I had someone tell me in yesterday's video that they had a boxy lux from September that still hasn't been delivered. What is going on? Oh my God. Okay, and then we are going to take this Naked Cosmetics right here and we're gonna put that right into the center. Like I said, this is gonna be a really short review. I'm just reviewing this eyeshadow palette. I wouldn't even say reviewing it because I already know how ColourPop's formula is, but just more of like playing around with it. Um, we're just gonna tap that right there and we're gonna start to blend that out. Look at that straight line, such a straight line. You know what, that's fine because I've never had like straight eyes, so it is what it is. Okay, so I think that's like the best that I can get right now. I'm gonna kind of mess with it more off camera, but I'm gonna go put on the rest of my face and I'll kind of give you guys my opinion on this palette. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys, and this is the final look. So to finish off this look, I did go into the shade Groovin for underneath my waterline. I did use the ColourPop water gel I did use the ColourPop Creme de la Gel White Liner. Uh, for lips, I went into the Lunar Beauty Zaya Liquid Lip. Freaking love it. Used the Jaclyn Highlight and just did the rest of my face. So, what are my thoughts on this B Poppy eyeshadow palette? It is a pretty look. Like, I won't deny it. It is a pretty look. Is it my favorite? No, it's not my favorite. I'm not really in love with it like I was the Little Ray of Sunshine one. Like, that one was just such a beautiful look. I think because it had different colors in it. Let me show you. Okay, so for this is the Little Ray of Sunshine. So you do kind of have a mix of colors in here. You have some really cool tone yellows, some bright vibrant yellows, and some warm tones. So you can do a little bit of different variation of shades in here. Whereas if you guys look at the big poppy right here, they're kind of similar. They're not They're not as, I guess, dimensional as this one. Like this one has a little bit more different shades. So you can do multi-dimensional looks. You can create dimension. You can, you can create depth. I just like this has a little bit more of variety in the in the pan compared to this one like these are very very similar colors they blended out very very similar like these two shades um cali love and flora out when i start blending them they looked almost identical same thing with the shade flower power and groovin these two looked almost identical like it's just they kind of start to blend into each other while i really do like the concept of an all matte palette it just it, it's it's not my favorite and as much as i freaking love orange so much you guys think that this would be my favorite but it's, it's not, it's not. Uh, for some reason, I just didn't fall in love with it the way that I did the Little Ray of Sunshine. I think it's really beautiful, but I like having just a little bit of depth in there and a little bit of just, I like having just a little bit of depth in there. That's why I added the shimmer to it. But like I said, it just, it just isn't my favorite, my favorite palette. But what I think would be really nice 
is to combine these two together. I think that if we combined these two together right here, you can create a really beautiful fall aesthetic palette. Like I think these two would be perfect complementing each other very, very well. You can kind of mix and match. So I feel like that's how I'm gonna utilize this palette is by mixing these two together. Cause then I think they're both a beautiful fall aesthetic palette. I think it'd be perfect, perfect, perfect. So it is currently sold out. The rest of the collection is still available for purchase. Um, so if you guys wanna get it, definitely keep checking back on ColourPop. I know they end up doing restocks at some point or another, but it just isn't my favorite one from them. And that's completely okay. The formula still is the same. So that's just what matters. Matters, but uh, yeah guys this is just a really quick video of trying out this I have some bigger videos coming up this week like I've already said before we are literally four days away from Christmas we are day 21 of my vlogmas like guys we are literally almost here 2020 is almost done thank gosh <laughs> so if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up or cheeky thumbs down however you see fit just thank you so much for being here Please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post every single day in the month of Vlogmas. Please make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's called R for the Life where you guys get to see my cool, amazing adventures with my wonderful fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Here is currently sold out and ColourPop's, maybe you can at that point go be a pipe a out with, guys can go apply to those those corporate Americas and be a, a private a, be a, pi, a be a private jet person as a, oh there it is I don't know if y'all can see that oh god my, I ate it again